Lately I've been, been on fire, shit I can't miss. miss Clutch shot, MJ in the finals, nigga gang six I just bought a scrizzy, it's about to get flizzy what? I'ma take that dope money, put it in my business What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, Black Jesus, Arco, cousin JJ, Big Yago, Chuck in the Yo. building. This is everybody doing sports. What's up with it? What's the word? What's the word? I can't call it. I can't call it. Man, boy been missing, man. Shit, it's good to be back, though. I'll tell you that. Good to have you back. No yeah, doubt. Sure. No doubt. I, I, I missed a good conversation, man. Y'all y'all was chopping it up, man, about the... uh. About the uh the uh what was I about to bring up, man? This weed done got to me already. You too. Uh, boy, listen. Uh well, never mind that, man. It, it man, it, <laughs> it it happens sometimes, brother. It happens sometimes. <laughs> but shit, where, yeah, sure. where y'all want to start, man? <laughs> Man, I don't know where, but I just want to be shout out my best man. Great win, great win on yesterday, man. You feel me? I'm buried down, hardly home, but I always repping. You feel me? Well, that's why. That's why I went on ahead and switched up the style, bro. That's it. I I done left the football alone, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna put the football down, brother. You gave up on it. Hey, you know, my Patriots terrible. That's why I've been a, a hell of a college football fan this year. Well, my Browns, man, shit. My boy J Deshaun Watson, <laughs> man. I, I I had faith in him coming from Houston, man. Coming out the, the trials and tribulations, I thought he was going to be a good dog for me, man. He just a little old puppy right about now, man. He making me sad, man. I can't tell. <laughs> man. Uh, I can't tell if it's him being terrible or Cleveland is just terrible for him, bro. But something ain't right over there. Yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah, it definitely stinks, man. Uh, I mean, myself, I was thinking, like, maybe it's the offensive line. You know, uh, my boy, he, 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 he dropping back in the coverage and running too much. You know what I'm saying? Shit like, uh, Shit like nine for seventeen ain't cutting it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that just that just stinks all together as a as a whole offense, bro. So I don't know, man. Especially then you got uh, I, I heard it. Cooper, Kamari Cooper been dropping hella passes. Mm -hmm. Man, he only caught two touchdowns all, the whole season. Facing me out. He, my boy five, needed to. He need to be up there about five or six, I'll say. At least get at least four at touchdowns by now, man. It, two touchdowns. That's well, probably he probably Then you gotta help with Chubbs too though. Like Chubbs, I mean, you gotta think about it. when it comes to their offense, man, they want Chubbs to touch that ball a lot just because what he can do with it. But I just cool. Sean Watson ain't been the same since he left Houston though. He ain't find that foot, and I feel like that stigma following him, G. Far is like that bullshit that went on in Houston. So now it's like I feel like it's in his head now, bro. Like, well, he can't, he can't shake this shit. I ain't seen a good game since he had the brown shit on. Man, and I and I say this too, boy ain't touched the ball all preseason. You know what I mean? He he just stepped in week one. You know what I'm saying? Getting knocking the dust off. So it's just like, man, I don't know, man. You, it, all of that plays a part. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, you, you got to prepare. You know what I'm saying? If you don't prepare, you know what I'm saying? What you can have all the talent in the world. If you don't, if you don't prepare for the game, you know what I'm saying? If you don't prepare or and condition yourself, shit, you ain't gonna be shit anyway. You know that part. Like you said, it don't matter how. How much talent you got? If it ain't no hard, if it ain't no work, no work ethic with that talent, yeah, it's gonna be nothing. A, football is a team sport. You know what I'm saying? You can't just show up. You and do your Allen Iverson. You know what I'm saying? You get it just ain't gonna happen like that. And when you it's the head way of the more team, chemistry with football than it is a lot of sports. You know. And when you the head of the team in the quarterback position, and you not really leading your team. This is what happens. You got an offense that probably don't want to block for you. 
You got mm -hmm. four receivers mm -hmm. that don't want to catch them passes. They just out there uh, going through the motions, getting paid. That's mm -hmm. the product of that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Attitude reflects leadership. You ain't lying. Well, shit, sure. That's true. I mean, so what do you feel like? What do you feel like they need to do to change this um, season around? I mean, it was this, this was just what week four? So like, what week four, week five? So what do you feel like they can do to change that season around? Well, I feel like Jerry Judy ain't really been getting the ball like he's supposed to. Uh, he Jerry Judy need to step up a little bit more. Uh, and Joku was a little beat up. Uh, in uh past couple weeks, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, get my guy healthy 100%. And shit, I really don't know what's going to open up this offense, though, man. If, if if my boy don't get a couple seconds in that pocket to throw that ball, let alone, shit, we barely running that motherfucker, you know. Shit, if you can't run the ball, you, you ain't going to be able to throw the ball, you know. Facts. I don't know, man. We got to, it, it's, it's, it's really in all syllables on that offense. It's not like we don't – you look on paper, man, they, they got it. You know what I'm saying? It's just got to, mm -hmm. They just got to put it in motion. Yeah, on paper, they they're a solid team, but – You look at the next-gen stats, they are, they off the chain. Sort of, they they on, paper, on paper, so are the Bengals. Mm-hmm. Man, that was a remarkable game yesterday. If we gonna talk about the Ravens and the Bengals yesterday, oh that was man, good yeah, football absolutely. I was watching. That yeah, was some kicking on the on the kickers part, but hey, great, nice, great quarterback um, game. Lamar Jackson, um, Joe, back to by Joe, four. Joe Cool. That shit was good. That shit was a good game. That could by far be the game of the year so far. Man, yeah, yeah, I hope. Yeah, so far, definitely Lamar Jackson and the Ravens is really on a mission, bro. Oh man, they got Derrick Henry, man. Bruh. I mean, Derrick Henry is probably like the perfect fit for him right now, bro. Like, you see this when Lamar is Jackson yeah. stiff armed that nigga twice in the same man. Play. What get down, get on, get on, get on. up to the tight end, <laughs> looking real strong out there, bro. Look, I saw that, I saw that, bro. I saw man, that. Lamar you yeah. stiff on the same dude twice and, and still get that thing out there? That's crazy. Yeah. Bro, they're going to be hard to beat, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you got to think, they are this much of a toe from being undefeated. Remember, they, they, they really beat Kansas City in the game, in the season opener. You know what I'm saying? It was because mm -hmm. he didn't get that toe in. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. I, I'd yeah. like to think he got that toe in, man. I, would like I to still think he got that toe in. Nah, it was, no. it was like this much, like the mm. big toe, the big toe. I swear, they the they, they swear was in. They swear if the shoelace touched the white boy, he out. Like man, well, that should be crazy. <laughs> man, you gotta, them nigga, those niggas is good, and you know who else is really balling? Who now? The Minnesota Vikings. What? Boy, Sam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they going crazy. Sam Donald, boy, he on fire. Sam Darnold yeah. got him really going crazy, bro. That is the so man is on fire. And then, then that's that story that they got in Justin Jefferson. Like, man, bro. like, do you? I feel Ooh. like he exposed the shit out of um, um, Gardner. So, yeah, Gardner. What bro, he. How was he always he open? open. Yeah. He, see, he ain't even. He wasn't even guarding him for real. Everybody he couldn't. Else was, it was so many fucking holes in that game. I'm like, God damn. Like, come on, let's Bruh. play football. Man, Bruh, what's man. Going on? At this point, they just maybe they just surprisingly good to most teams. Like they I, even the record, you know what I'm saying? Like you look at the record, it's like, all right, yeah, they undefeated. But I think certain teams still going there big headed. You know what I mean? Like y'all, we'll see what y'all do with us, you know what I'm saying? This year. Like just they, get back. Like, under they underestimating them. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. <clears throat> yeah, because what they and, start quarterback went out in the preseason, right? Yeah, in preseason, and that's how Buddy got to. Um, now nah, I might be thinking about. Sam was probably going to be the starter for a while, at least. If he did this, 
with JJ on the bench healthy, he'd still be the starter. Okay, 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 okay. I won't trip him. Okay. Yeah. Gotta say, who was but the commander? It was another another good game last night, man. Uh, Steelers in Dallas. Man, that that was some heat right there. I ain't gonna lie. I I ain't know who was gonna come out of that, man. It was that. Yeah, that was a fight right there. You got to take the, the gloves off. And you see C.J. Lamb was shooting that Dak, too. Like, I don't But you could tell he wasn't happy, but shit. They got to just, just throw you the know ball what? up. I'm going to get it. I got that. Just throw the ball up. But that's not it. But I don't know what it was. Like, uh, apparently it was some kind of misconnection, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I don't know whether if it was Dak's fault. Or whether if it was CD's fault, but it was like after that, man, buddy didn't get the ball the rest of the night, man. He got the th- throwing that thing everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? And I I really tip my hat to Mike McCarthy, bro, because like I don't see how that came out that game with two picks and that forced fumble, man, from that from that running back. I mean from uh from from C D, I think it was just it. Those kind of mistakes is hard to come back from, especially against the Steelers, man. You know, yeah, that defense is killer. It's something yeah. about that Steelers offense, man. They got to get it together, man. They just can't finish. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, too. Like it's a little dude, man. He he. It was a reason he was the backup. Like yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a reason. It's a reason that Russell Wilson was supposed to be starting before he got hurt. Yeah, yeah. Man, but yeah. Hey, it's a hey. reason that the Bears got Caleb Williams and not him. I mean, hey man, I can't listen. I'm sorry, I still got the old one on, but hey, listen, I hey, mean, no, I'm, I'm Jay saying, that's, Felix, bro. that's you only still wearing that because you don't know if you could trust Caleb Williams or not. <laughs> 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 if you one foot in, one foot out, you mean, hey, you know, it's, it's still iffy. Hey, hey, hey man. what about Caleb? He been showing up, Caleb. He showed the fuck up yesterday, for sure. And I don't know if it's. I feel like the more re- uh, it's like re- 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 like the those snaps. The the more the word that I need ain't coming to me. But I feel like with Caleb, Bro, it's, I feel like he got repetition. his foot in it and his game. There you go, the repetition. The more snaps repetition. he gets, the more he play. I mean, he the more he good. go out there and play, the slower the game gonna get to him. The more he gonna be able to be like, oh, I've seen this before. The more it's gonna you, be like, oh shit, they finna. I'm just about to hand this off. The more yeah. everything yeah. is just gonna come to him because you know he still he put five he five games away from USC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Still gotta give him that time to develop. I, I think wow. I think I think he's gonna be decent just from seeing what I've seen. Like you know he's had his ups and downs already, but his ups is really up. Like yeah, he, he yeah, kind of so sure. he be showing signs of looking good. Yeah, he look real comfortable in that pocket. You see the potential there, for sure. For sure, mm-hmm. exactly. You see the potential for sure. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm happy. Shit. We three and two. Think about okay. Jaden Daniel. I like Jaden Daniels. I think I said that last week, man. It's like, man, he's really balling. Like the last couple of games I seen, like him yesterday against the Browns, and um, I seen another game against him where he just dominated. It's like and ready to play. You can tell like they trust in that rookie. Like they, yeah. they man, just trust him. So like, and he don't throw many incompletions. He don't. I've never seen a rookie come in the way this man has came in. Uh, so leading the division and everything, bro. Like. Bro, look like he'd been here before, you know? Like, like, like he just came off of a, another NFL team, like. Yeah. yeah. hmm yeah. Like, he out there throwing that thing, bro. So, man. Yeah, I, and a great supporting cast they got around them, too, like, with the receivers, yeah. like, mm-hmm. running back. Yeah, so, they good. Hey, That's a, And it's funny, see, like, he's doing so I well. See, I want to check back in on their progress, um, Closer to the end of the year and see what, how they gonna end up. I want to see. Okay. I want to see him play a, a good rivalry game, man. Play the play the Giants Cowboys. or the Cowboys or something. You know what I'm saying? 
I want to. I, I think that'll really test his build. But you know what road. I'm saying? He on the road so far, you know. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, play the rivalry game on the road. Go to oh go yeah, to oh yeah, on the road. Go, go to, to Philly. Philly. That'll really test it. That'll really go test it right there. See how you see how you fare. Mm-mm-mm. Man, for sure. I can't wait for that. It's coming. For sure. I want to see what he Man, does. So would, you, would, would you say he's a strong candidate for rookie of the year? Absolutely. 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 Because no the, the, number, the number three quarterback that got picked in the draft looked like he ain't going to get no clock. And yeah. Marvin, Marvin Harrison, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do over there, but he's not putting up, I don't know about MVP. That's he not be rookie of the year. What what quarterback out playing him right now? Sam Darnold. Yeah, 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 yeah. That quarterback is a keeper. What are you talking hey, about? The quarterback, the leader. I'm telling you. The quarterback to keep position. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's the leader right there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the, the anchor of the offense. But he already been in. A, 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 Couple seasons now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he ain't even up? a rookie no more. That's what I'm saying. But he talking. Yeah. He said he said rookie. They say rookie MVP. Like he bought the right. MVP award as a rookie. No sir. Yeah. You still got Patrick Mahomes no, out there. You got Lamar Jackson out there on a different level as everybody. Yeah. You know about I think that. Well, well, oh, you said you know, he's, he's got, you know, he's got four <laughs> rookie of the year for already. Stoke. Rookie of the year, yeah. Rookie you know, Daniels has four Dale. rushing TDs already, right? Huh? He's got four rushing TDs already. And that's you don't think that means nothing? That's cool for sure. I mean, that's three cool, passing but TDs, good. four rushing TDs, and one interception. 82% completion percentage. He's right up there with some of the best seasons that have ever been played by Drew Brees and Tom Brady. If he keeps it up over the whole season, these other guys are going to drop off like they do every year. So I don't think it's impossible. I'm not. He's definitely not the favorite right now, but it's def- if he keeps it up the rest of the season, I think it's definitely possible. But you just say yeah. everybody falls off. Everybody's numbers going to fall off as the season goes along. What makes you think his ain't? Well, because you no, know, I'm just saying his haven't yet because he's a rookie. Man. So maybe he can, maybe he'll be the guy that it don't. I'm just I saying think, that it, it, at his current pace, if he if he holds that through the whole season, I think that he could be an MVP candidate. Because if the season ended right now, he would finish in the top five voting. I think if he if he win that game that I that I was speaking of, as far as the rivalry situation, I push for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be three of them. He gotta win more than just one. He gotta win two out of three of them. Mm-hmm. He gotta go. He gotta go win in Philly and in Dallas. Right. They definitely found their quarterback though. For shit show. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. What you guys think about Kareem Hunt being back in Kansas City? Mm-hmm. I mean, I already I, I, I would, man. Just a it is. Yeah, At this I'm point, asking. you can put any running back in Kansas City, man. They going they gonna sparkle. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. Kansas, Kansas City is just structured like that. You know what I'm saying? And Andy Reid got it a lot. I ain't gonna lie. He got oh, them boys in rotation. Like, for sure. <laughs> oh, man, that was the biggest ball like start I've ever. Like, I thought he had like a high spring ankle, some shit. Like I thought he was gonna be back. Andy Reid could lose five bodies. He's going to have yeah. somebody for him. Like, I'm telling you. Like, and we're going to be like, who is this guy? He's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. It, it's, it's teams like that, man. Uh, the Chiefs and the Steelers, man, and the 49ers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, just those good dynasty teams, they just keep a guy. Packers hey, and shit. Man, you know what I'm saying? It make you have it make it hard to have faith in teams like the Lions. Yeah. Like, man. You know, we know, we yeah. know y'all good. We see y'all good, but it's just always gonna be that one of them teams that's gonna be there. 
Mm-hmm. It's just basically like them structure teams. Like they just they go get players just to, that fit fit the scheme of the team. Like, come on, we seen the Patriots do it forever. So I mean, that's just pretty get, much what they it go is. get coaches that know how to win, and they go get the yeah. people that fit the scheme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. what it's all about. Yep. Yeah, I that's mean, what, shit. It's looking yeah. like Andy Reid. He win wherever he go. Shit. Andy uh, Reid was in. Uh, he's I mean, a winner. He really win he was, in he Philly, was Kansas City. He been. He been Think about been it. Did he really win in Philly though? Think about it though. I mean, I know you're a Patriots fan and all, but if it wasn't for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, like. It's Andy Reid. You feel me? Like uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. Like it's just what no other do. But he only got with Philly. He only got to the Super Bowl them there one time. Yeah, yeah but he went to what Philly, four NFC Championship games in a row. Yeah. To what what, 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 what was the shit? Right? Hey, really I ain't. Anything <laughs> if you went to the NFC Championship four times and. Dude, there's teams that go decades without making the playoffs. Trust me, I know. And do we speak of them as winners? Man, I like that you I like that you tried to be relatable there to us, Diego, but you don't know shit about missing the playoffs. No, I just you just said that like it was personal. And I'm like, man, you did it you, you you started the season in the playoffs every year your whole life. <laughs> We're not talking no, about that yo. though. It's been rough for the past five years. Oh yeah, I'm holding on to a week oh. one win. Man, <laughs> you too. Shit. Hell no. Yeah, man. It's- NFL season shaking up, man. I, I, it's it's going to be more excitement to come, man. I can't wait to see the catch the rest of this this game tonight, man. See, I think the Chiefs going to pull it off. They Most are likely. so far. Yeah. Most likely. yeah, I do. Yeah, for sure. Most, yeah. Hey, most likely. I was expecting the shootout. I ain't checked no score or nothing yet, but. I mean, we'll also, see. fellas, Seven, nothing. I know, yeah. I know, we didn't get a chance to talk about it because it happened on Thursday night. But can we also talk about that Atlanta Falcons and the Tampa Buccaneers game? That fucking yeah. fight against Kirk Cousins and then Baker Mayfield was another fucking game that went down in history. That man, yeah. Kirk Cousins, threw for five hundred and two yards, bro. That's fucking re- hey, amazing. Hey. And they pulled it out at the last fucking yeah. minute. They pulled it out. We got you uh, that was a good game to watch. You know the they best part the field. Field. It off the yards. You know the best part about um, Kirk Cousins breaking Mac Matt Ryan's uh, record that night. What was it? Matt Ryan got put into the Atlanta Ring of Honor at halftime of that game. Damn, so he was there to see that shit. He was there with a yeah. the suit on, <laughs> getting honored. It was Matt Ryan night, and he broke Matt Ryan's record on Matt Ryan night. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Man. Fuck you, Matt Ryan. That's how you do it. 28 to 3. 28 to 3. Right. Fuck you, Matt Ryan. <laughs> 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 Come on, Matt Ryan. Yeah. Stunning numbers, though, I must say. Stunning numbers, man. 500 yeah. plus yards, four touchdowns. I mean, the, the pick don't even matter at that point. Shit, he, he, he was throwing that motherfucker. Right, he was yeah. just going for a six touchdown is all yeah. he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pick. And I feel it's not felling this year. Well, certain games is not felling us this year, I must admit. Especially when they're on primetime television <laughs> on a, mm-hmm. you know, a Sunday, you know, it's a Sunday, Monday, or Thursday. And they've yeah. been letting us down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some good entertainment, I must say. What's up with the so college? Man, y'all been yeah, I was about to say, I know we got some college to football say. to talk about. Well, Shit, where, yeah. do the, where do we fucking start? Do we start Ohio State and Iowa? 
or do we start with Van yeah, yeah, fucking Alabama? Much, and whatever, I'm just where going, do we go? Listen, hey, hear me out. I'm just going to run through the top five. I'm going to run through the top five and what they did, and then we're going to talk about the upsets. Yes, sir. Yep. Boom, Texas, number one. They went back to number one. They had a bye week. Boom, <laughs> number two. Ohio State looked it crazy dominant as they began conference play against Iowa. They beat shit down their leg 35-7. to seven. Mecca Buka had three big TDs, and Jeremiah Smith had a mean one-handed grab with the other defenders still all on me. Man, it went crazy. And that defense, Caleb Downs is a monster. I was there in person to see that game in person. And Caleb Downs at safety is a true monster. No cap. No cap. Now, number three, Oregon beat the shit out of Michigan State. Dylan Gabriel had made a strong case for the Heisman, if you ask me. He put up decent numbers against a decent Michigan State team. They beat them 31 to 10. Next week, Oregon hosts Ohio State. It should be the game of the week. Ready yeah, that's for that. where um, game day is going to be at. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's going down in Oregon. We got to go get that win. Number four. <laughs> Penn State defense held strong in a low-scoring battle against UCLA as they opened up conference play. They advanced to number four. Number five, Georgia handles business against Auburn. 31-13, Carson Beck went 23 for 29, 240 yards and two touchdowns. Travis Etienne, it might have been Trevor. I can't remember their names, but, you know, whoever, whichever one played for the Jaguars, his little brother played for Georgia. He went crazy. He had two touchdowns on the ground, too. I hate to say my boy Nico went down. I was talking all that shit about Nico in Tennessee. They went down against Arkansas late, real late in the game. Nico, he showed his he showed his age and his experience on that last play of the game when he just ran the ball out of bounds. I didn't yeah. understand it. But yeah. I'm glad it happened at the beginning of the season. He gonna learn from it and they're gonna get better as the season go on. I think they like number eight now. Alabama went down to fucking Vanderbilt. They're trash. Alabama trash. Alabama, you're trash. You got beat by Vanderbilt. Michigan. Okay, my parlay. How you put them <laughs> on the my parlay? Because they was playing Vanderbilt. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was that was supposed to be easy money. I get it. It's supposed to be crazy easy money. Man. Piss me Michigan off. Went down to Washington, giving them their second loss of the season. Fuck you, Michigan. Fuck you, Michigan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. Yeah. Ashton Jeansy. I don't know if y'all hit the Ashton Jeansy from Boise State. Mm. Bro, having a legendary season, running back. Going yeah, he, he's that phenomenal. I'm talking about that boy carrying that thing. Like 200, 200 plus yards a game type shit. Like he, bro, he already yeah. got a thousand yards up. He already a thousand yards right. up. For six games, yeah. six games in. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Crazy, bro. They talking about we might see the most legendary running back season of all time. He putting up real video game numbers. Hey, is that the Boise State guy you said? Yeah. What's the boy look like Ernie Davis running out there? J E A N T Y. All right, I'm gonna just write Boise State. (coughs) He's putting up crazy numbers. And then Miami was in the fight for their life last night, too. I mean, not last night on Saturday night, too, but they pulled it off. Miami pulled it off, yeah, by by the the skin on their teeth. Hmm? If, If Miami can keep pulling things off, I got them going to. Pretty deep in the playoffs this year. Yeah, I got Tennessee doing that as well. Hey man, I I swear if it, if the the Hurricanes and the Volunteers play for the championship, that'd be crazy because that's the only matchup we played on college football. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no cap. We still got to tie break that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get on your ass soon. We get back to that soon. School. I have a feeling it's, it, that all that that's going to become is a bit on this show where every episode we talk about how we're supposed to play that game and we just never play it. <laughs> Ohio State, going to see them in person, niggas, they really look like they're going to win it all, though. Yeah. It don't yeah. look like nobody can beat them. 
I don't you saw it from the sideline too, man. right? Huh? You saw it from the sideline too, right? Hey, I was the two rows up behind the bench, yeah. the second row behind the bench. Yeah, you can exactly. really exactly. feel that shit when you're down on the field compared to when you're like up in the top row. Hey, no cat, mm-hmm. bro. That's a, hey, that's a championship team right there. Yeah, you saw the best band in the land out there, boy. Ohio State, baby. Hey, hey they, 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 they keep the uh, best fans in the best damn fans in the land. The best band in the land, yeah, you hear me? Sure. They they keep they, they keep the good wide receivers too, though, man. You heard me, my boy out there. Like you say, yeah, catching them one handers. You know what I mean? Hey, he's Two weeks in probably the best wide receiver in college football right now. I would, I would boy, say, boy, but then boy, you know, I wouldn't. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't even say that yet because dude, Emeka Buka had three touchdowns, and everybody talking about Jeremiah Smith because he only had one. Emeka Buka was balling, and he on the same team. They on the same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a real, but they, cool. but you know when you when you show that physicality, you know what I mean. That that the acrobatic yeah. skill, you know what I mean. That you know how they did with Odell Beckham, boy, they was riding that catch for for ten years. You know what I mean? Shit. Hey, and he <clears> done pull he done pull catches like that in back to back games. Yeah, he done score every he done scored a touchdown every game this season so far. Yeah. See? The quarterback too, man. He can stay. He can kill you in the pocket, or he can he can scramble and get some yards. Like yeah, let's not leave so. Will Howard out. Yeah, and it looked, sure. hey, that shit was looking slow as fuck, but he was getting it. Getting <laughs> <laughs> he said it's like the Matrix. Huh? <laughs> Bro, he it's like he was scrambling slow as fuck. Like yeah. <laughs> Like Ben Roethlisberger yeah. back in the day, but he was getting to where he had to go. Yeah, yeah, they look decent, but that that game next week against Oregon gonna show it. Yep. Oh, yeah. For sure. Is that, is that yeah. all the upset? Yeah, yep. Michigan, yeah. Washington, Arkansas beating Tennessee. And Vanderbilt going, going and putting hands and feet on Alabama now. Did y'all see the team captain? I can't think of his name. I forgot his name. But the team captain had a real temper tantrum on on, on the uh, on the defensive side for uh, I think it's Malachi Moore, I believe Mal- Malachi something. But he had a real temper tantrum on the sidelines, and the coaches went out like holes, like they really went out sad. And they just pretty much let him have a temper tantrum and was throwing his mouthpiece and just doing dumb ass shit. And the coaches had no control. What team? What team? I mean, for who? Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. They did when they was losing to Vanderbilt. That's because mm-hmm. with Nick Saban leaving, there's going to be at least a few years where the players have the power there. I you said what? That power sucks. All, all them guys that Nick Saban recruited. Mm-hmm. Kalen DeBoer ain't gonna be able to tell them the same shit that Nick would. They're gonna run shit until dude proves himself. Yeah, and that's gonna be bad for them. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a rough couple of years. Look what just happened against Vanderbilt. Right. Yeah. But Nick Saban's first game was a a loss to like a an FCS team or some shit like that. So for sure, but this ain't their first but, game. Well, I'm just saying this this might not be a good first season for him either, but it is still Alabama. Yeah, for sure. It's still Alabama, and they only got one loss. So it ain't the end of the world at all. Still yeah, but once they, they get into the playoffs. once they get into playing these real teams, I mean, they got lucky against Georgia, I feel like. Georgia. I feel like not even lucky, but like they, they blew it all on that Georgia game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They got too much confidence now. That's the game they needed to lose was that Georgia game. <laughs> then they lost to Vanderbilt. Yeah, idiot. Right. They lost that. They they lost that game mentally. Yeah, yeah. that's what it was. Going there, big headed and shit. Mm-hmm. And then they go back to what Arco said earlier. It's like, man, when you 
when you the underdog, you go into schools like Alabama, she's she there to prove a fucking point. And it, 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 some some teams, when you're on that high hill, yeah, all you got to do is punch them in the mouth first. They don't know how to recover from that shit. You know, so mm -hmm. that's pretty much what it goes. Yeah, the best part is, well, I guess with that, with that being a, a conference game, it probably ain't the same deal as when. But when you get them small schools coming in and playing teams like Alabama, usually the the teams getting paid or whatever. So usually they're the big teams mm -hmm. like paying to lose or whatever. Yeah, facts. But like, I don't uh, know if like that, Notre if Dame that a, did against NIU. Yeah, but I don't think that applies with them both being SEC. They, they need to get Vanderbilt off the SEC. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was SEC there for a minute. <laughs> that was their first time ever beating um, a top five team ever. Like yep, they were 0 and 60. You know what I mean? Like they <laughs> ever. Like, that's crazy. If you and if you part if you part of that team, you gonna go down to history like y'all won a championship. Like, oh, so that's a whole legendary at Vanderbilt. You guys know about <laughs> yeah. the quarterback, Vanderbilt's quarterback. Nah, what what's his name? What about it? He gonna turn oh, out better than next year. I I forget. Yeah, well, no, that's I forget his name, but he just transferred over from either San Diego or San Jose State, and when he was at his last school. He had two victories where they were 21 and a half point underdogs or more. And then he came in and just did it to Alabama. So that quarterback, man, he they interviewed him after the game. He has some like – yeah, well, he had like 70 family members in the crowd. He didn't know he was about to go in there. Yeah, he knew he was going to go. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Well, I, can you all imagine the night that kid had, though? Man, what? Have seventy of your people show up to a game, and then you upset Alabama as the quarterback? Like, dude's probably yeah, still having a fun time right now. <laughs> did you see what they did to NIL, bro? Did you see what they did to the field after the game? Yeah, did, like, did you see where the goalpost ended up? It, no, nah, I didn't. It made it to the river. It took them an hour and six minutes to walk it there. There was a mob walking yeah, down the street for over an hour. Carrying <laughs> the gold goes to the river. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, hey, man, I was looking. I'm like, they tearing this motherfucker up. I ain't know all that. Though. Carried it out the stadium <laughs> for an hour and like six minutes and uh, dumped it in the river. <laughs> man, that's crazy. You know, schools got to pay when the fans store, storm the field like that. It's like ten thousand dollars or something like that. Wow! Yeah, they did get and uh, did get fired. And the end now they got to go buy a new goalpost. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah. They don't even give a fuck. They was like, "Shit." No, they don't care. They don't care. They got that win. They beat Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck about no goalposts. We beat Alabama, nigga. Right. Also, They're like, we'll pay also, double. Also, me no brown shit. Yeah, it'll be up in a week. <laughs> right. <laughs> it'll be up in a week. <laughs> like, Our yeah. kicker's already out there kicking field goals. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'd be the guy that'd be like, go get it out of the river. Put that thing back up. I don't care what it looks like. You <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> know, A lot of a lot of upsets, man, going around. I think Diego might be frozen. Go ahead and remove. I think we lost JJ too. Uh oh. Might just be me. I'm gonna put them back when they hop back in here. All right. Um, you keeping up on baseball at all? You you watch baseball? I've been trying to lately. I've been trying to keep up a little bit, but I haven't actually sat down and watched the game. I've just been looking at scores and stuff. Right. But I'm so baseball is going crazy. crazy. Baseball going yeah. crazy for the playoffs, man. You got yeah, Detroit. Playoff, you got Detroit. You got Detroit Tigers going against the Cleveland um, Garden. So yeah. It was a dominated game for the Cleveland Guardians game one. They end up blowing them out. I want to say seven to zero. But yeah. Detroit and Detroit came back today and was like, fuck that. 
um, Carpenter took it out the park for a three run home run, and they end up beating the um, Guardian three to zero. So oh wow! It's like man, it's it's, uh, it's ties the series one to one now. Hey, don't yeah, we know that, that like what like a month ago the Tigers had what like a four percent chance of even being in the playoff? Yes, sir. something crazy yes, sir. like that, and then now they're in the past the wild card round or whatever. Yeah, so. Ain't they? Yeah, Dude, for so, Tigers. So. Tigers, so shout out to them Tigers, man. Um, shout out to the Guardians. Nice way to come back in a game two and handle business, man. 3 0, they took the win today, signed the series to 1 1. Um, we got Can the Kansas City Royals versus um, I'm Judge and the New York Knicks, Kansas, Kansas, the Yankees. Yankees. The Yankees, I'm brother. The Yankees, yeah, New York Yankees. <laughs> Yankees, my bad. But yeah. But shit, in that whole ordeal with them, the Kansas City got it. Um, they are leading them one zip right now. It's not that's for sure unseen because you know the Yankees, man, they've been dominating. But I don't know, you know, typically when it comes to New York and the Yankees, they're gonna get back on top. But right now, the Royals is when I think they playing right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, yeah, it's four one Royals right now. Yeah, uh -oh. see. See, that's what I got on. I got that in the uh the Monday night game on multi view. Okay. okay. Another what's playoff up with them going on right. Huh? I said what's up with them Dodgers? Them Dodgers, they also down. I mean San Diego Padres came in and took handle business. Game one in, game two, game one. The Padres took it five. I mean, Dodgers took it um, seven to seven to five. Game one, Padres said fuck that. Came back ten two um, on Sunday oh. on Saturday. So okay. that being said, game three was set to go for tomorrow. Um, so we'll see if um, right now that series ties one one. And then the last but not least, we got the Mets going against the Philadelphia. Um, Philadelphia right now. The, it's all these is tied one one. To be honest with you, game one, um, the Mets took it six to two, and game two that happened on Saturday, um, the Philadelphia Phillies took it seven to six. So, I mean, I mean, it's for baseball wise, we just gotta see what's gonna happen because it's like it's a lot of them one one right now tied up. So. We shall see. Um, <clears throat> we shall see. Who you got winning it all? Man, that's a good. Who would I go with winning it all? I like the Dodgers. Um, I, that they got a stud over there. I matched his name up so bad. Um, but and I don't want to say it's um a net to see because I feel like I'm gonna match that up too. But um, what's his name? What's his first name, Shoe? Otana, if I'm saying it right. Oh, you talking about Shohei Otani? Yeah, Otani. Otani, the Dodgers. The greatest guy, thing the since Babe Ruth? Him. I'm telling you. So I feel like if the Dodgers can get out, if the Dodgers can be um, San Diego, I think I'm going with Dodgers all the way with that, man. I'm telling you, special. Hey, that's a good series for baseball, though, right there, because that's yep. two stacked teams right there. That's true. Like that's most definitely true. Man, both of them teams have spent so much money on players. It, it'd be crazy if both of them ended up losing out. Is it, is it the Tigers that, you... that are real young? Like the youngest team right now or something like that? You got a bunch of like 20 and 21-year-olds or something like that? I was uh, I'm, about not, that. I'm not for sure, though. It, it, it's a possibility. It is probably them. Because everybody else look kind of seasoned. Honest with you, some of these names on the rosters for uh, the Cleveland Guardians that people we heard before. Um, I won't really look hooked on Kansas City, uh, the Royals, uh, for real. But sure, they in the fight, and sure. So no, it should be exciting baseball for all the baseball lovers. Uh, I'm sure I, I'm. Uh, <laughs> Hey, but Carpenter knocking it out the park like in the eighth inning to get the um the Tigers the win. 
I mean, shit, that's what baseball all about, you know. Shit like that. Zero, be zero, zero for a long damn time. <laughs> you feel me? It's Cleveland. So. Their <laughs> Cleveland Guardians average age right now is 26. That's the average oh, age shit. for the entire team. Dang. So, I mean, and that's what makes that so special. That team can, if they don't break that up, that that's the, that team can stay. They got longevity when it comes yeah. to being that good. Right. Young for, Right, if things go go keep going up for all them players, this is going to be one of those teams that you look back on like imagine having those guys for that money again. Because yeah. ten years from now, these dudes are going to be split up and paid if they're all that good. That is true. That's cool. <coughs> we lost Diego. He he hopped back on, but his camera was glitched, and then he disappeared again. Right, um, what's next? Do you want to go WNBA and close it out with the NBA? Yeah, I was about to say, let's get the, the two basketball leagues out the way, and then we'll go ahead and get out of here. I bet. So, with the women's basketball semifinals going on, you got the Connecticut, the Connecticut Suns versus the Minnesota Lynx. 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 With that being said, Suns took game one, 73 to 70. Um, Lynx took it game two, 77 to 70. Shoot, they balling out, shoot. Then the Lynx took it again, game three, 90 to 81. And Suns took game four, 92 to 82. The thing about that series... Yeah, the thing about that series, though, is that it's most likely just going to decide who's going to lose to the winner of the other series. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty much. Because New-, New York Liberty already advanced into the finals. Because I want to say they beat that. Now, they didn't beat the Aces. They, they, I think Minnesota. No, beat I was about to say the Aces came back. They were up They were up on them. And then the Aces, the other night, they put on the show. I don't know if the, what the series is at. I'm about to look right now. <clears throat> Had to make some adjustments, boy. About to lose power over here. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Shooting from my phone. Ah. <laughs> uh, um. Yes. Oh, so the Liberty did win. They won the series yesterday. Yeah, I was the gonna Aces say, are yeah, out. out of the Aces out of the. Liberty way wow. to see who wins against against this team that's going two and two right now. Man, I, I thought Asia Wilson was gonna get a down. Oh yeah. Liberty already uh, advanced. Yeah. Uh, hey, but don't Sabrina oh. Sabrina play for the, the Liberty. That's she can shoot. The Liberty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's yeah, the she one that went up grass. against <laughs> that in the, the shooting exactly. contest. Yeah. yeah, Sabrina nice. Sabrina, nice. I mean, I feel like I feel like Liberty might take it all. To be honest with you, I think they, I think they definitely are. They got um, they got shooters across the board. They had so many games this year where not a lot, but a few games this year where every single starter made a three point shot. <laughs> oh, that's crazy work. I mean, I do want to say, like, man, I feel like. Um, a lot of the WNBA is most definitely going up. It's moving up. Like I know back in the day it wasn't as popular as NBA. I know I think um me and BZ had a conversation in the past talking about like nobody watched that WNBA. But I feel like Clay reached them coming in and doing what they're doing for the league is really putting them on the up and up where them ladies will be able to make that real money. So I mean right. so it's a it's most well, definitely getting exciting. For the W, uh, luckily with Clark with the Clark and Reese rivalry, it's actually a rivalry that works out in their favor because they have the rivalry, which is obviously going to bring in viewers. But then you've got Caitlin Clark doing like um, like historic numbers and all that, and then you've got mm-hmm. Angel Reese doing historic numbers and all that. And she's she dude, they, the WNBA would be dumb not to make Angel Reese the face of the league moving forward. Like she's yeah. got the look, she's got the 
like presence already. She's got the fan base. She's got the support. They should just put all of their. She should have like a reality show right now already, like off season, <laughs> following her around. It should be all Angel Reese. Like I can't believe yeah. that that they ain't went all in on her already. But they they got yeah. and there's a lot of other like Cameron Brink, and then um, there's a other players coming up out of college. Like the WNBA is just looking like it's going to be real strong for like the next decade. Yeah, for as far sure. as talent. Oh, yeah. I mean, shout out to WBA and all the love you ladies that play in it. For sure. Um, Arcus, bring us in the NBA. But before we go to NBA, I do want to take, man, history took place last night where LeBron James Sr. and LeBron James Jr. both played on the same court. Um uh, game on last night when they went against the Phoenix Suns. So I want to shout out to James family. I, I can only imagine what how that felt for them both to lace up them them LeBrons and step on the on the court in the Lakers jerseys. You feel me? Um, so yeah, that was dope. That was dope. That was so um so shout out to the James family. But let's get into basketball. Um it was a lot of it's a lot of preseason games going on right now. Um, what do you guys think about? Some, have y'all looked at some of the preseason games? What do y'all think? Um, I know it's hard to adjust. It's like the starters only playing the first and second halves of the game. So, like, what y'all see so far? Um, nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest nothing. with you. <laughs> I ain't looked at no preseason, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't worth looking at. Not for me. <laughs> Man, I I think I could go probably a good two three seasons, man. They they really been been working my nerves, man. About to send me to an early grade, man. I I keep, I keep I, boys. All right, so uh, for the most part, just off today, seventy sixers played the Breakers. The Breakers is a team out of Dubai. That score right now, the game is um, in the fourth quarter, six minutes and 35 seconds left. 76 is just dominating that game, 126 to 73. Um, NBA trying to get money, how to get it. So you feel me by them playing teams from Dubai. Um, but so, I mean, Grizzlies and Mavericks, they got a um, they got a good one going on. It's tied right now, it's on halftime, 60 to 60. Um, I ain't see no games. I see the for riding them camels out there. <laughs> Man, what you said. Um, I mean, I ain't looking what too What do you guys crazy. think about the, the NBA talking about doing some more in season stuff, like adding the tournament last year and all that? Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, that's cool. I feel like the, um, the play in tournament. It was cool. I feel like NBA players, they like Brian them said, they play for the money. They didn't really care about the trolls and stuff. But I think you got, you know, a million dollars if you want it. You know what I mean? Um, so, sure, sometimes they pay for the money. You feel me? Yeah. And then again, I mean, like, like, it's a cool incentive when you think about it yeah, like that. So. For, for, yeah. From an entertainment standpoint, it was just like, what is this? You know what I mean? For me. So I think the oh sorry, Keep going. No, he did, but it was just uh, just a, I really didn't understand it the whole end season tournament and thing like that. Like it was like I said, it was a cool incentive for the players, but it just didn't make sense for entertainment purposes. So have yeah, do you yeah, do you pay attention yeah, yeah. to to soccer at all and see how they have different cups? Uh, they have like different leagues play each other in the middle of the season for, like, a trophy or something like that. I think that's what they want to go to. I think they want to try to make the in-season tournament an international thing where the team that, you know, lost in the Olympics to America can come over here and and try to, you know, get some – keep keep their – the buzz they got off of that, like um, I forget what team was that that we played for the gold. Was that France? That was France, wasn't it? 
But the that one dude, he got signed to the 76ers. Off of that game, yeah, you see that? yeah, it was friends. It was friends. The um, oh. so for the goal, it was friends. But that yeah. dude that dunked on LeBron, he got a, he got signed to an NBA team off of that. And look at all the rookies coming in from overseas. The game's becoming an international game. And how cool would it be if you know there was more options for those guys to have their families back home to watch them play because they're at an in season tournament and they're going to play France's national team. Or, you know, France is, you know, champion of their national league or whatever against the champion of our league play a game at the beginning of the season for a tournament or something like that. Like, I think they're just trying to add in an international feel to it. But that's just what I think. I don't I don't really know what they're doing with it because it was pretty boring. Yeah, see, me and other hand, again, to me, when I think about the playing tournament, it made the game more competitive, like me in November type of shit. Like, you know, the game, the NBA don't get competitive for real, for real, until playoff season. When playoffs start, that's April. So, I mean, some teams come in, they, it, it makes you, that playing made them play their best basketball and gave us an early field of matchups in the playoffs and things like that. So, um, I like it. I most definitely like it, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. Shoes. I want to say actual season starting in, in two weeks. So, um, yeah, come on, man. You know the okay. basketball season don't start until Christmas. Nah, <laughs> sure. Sure. It's, gonna, it's most definitely gonna pick up though. Um, dude, while we on here, um, hey, shout out, more, shout out you, Chuck, man, for what you're doing. We Rams, what you doing for six U? My son told me to tell you what's up. Um, shout out JVM. They got the they got a good win in on um on Saturday. They they blew. They went to a they went to Cincinnati and played a team, blew them out thirty to zero. Um, playoffs finna pick and then Rocky Top. So, but that's keeping me busy right there. So, right, gonna see how that go. But this, I just seen that um, six U are ranked number eight or nine in the state. In the, in the state, I mean, nope, nope, number nine in the that, country. They are the only the team that's, from Ohio on the list. Yeah, man, that's what's up, man. Shout out Coach Ron and man, Coach Charles with right. doing over there with them. Coach Simmons, man. Hey, they that six U team is special. Shout out my shout out my youngest. Shout out Prince Chandler, um, Braden. Shout out all them youngest over there and put that work in. You feel me? For sure, man. But yeah, anything else you want to cover? Any anybody? Say what's up? Anybody? Anything else y'all want to cover? Oh man, a lot of gas, man. All right. Well, BZ ain't here, so something about everybody knows sports. <laughs> everybody knows sports. Man. Appreciate y'all for checking us out. We'll see y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Get in. All right. All right, Peace. Cool. Peace. Be good. Lately I've been on fire, shit I can't miss Clutch shot, MJ in the finals, nigga game six I just bought a scrizzy, it's about to get flizzy